Hey guys, 3D Wrecker here, back for another video. Today we will be. Let me try that again. Today we will be uh, making another tutorial video from the depths. I'm sure you know about my um <laughs> my cruddy old um yeah my old tutorial. There was a basic boat. You see, it's obsolete, and I did a shit job on it. So, I will be um, making a new tutorial video on that. So, we're going to start off with the block of wood. Press caps lock to make it float. And uh, you want a buoyant material, so either wood or lightweight alloy. Larger ships. I'm just going to stick with wood for the purpose of this basic video, and I'm going to make it um yeah something like that, and uh, I don't know maybe like that wide, that wide, that's better. and uh, yeah, I'll go from there another block there and there you go so that's the bow keel almost done just need to uh, break a block here. not break a block there uh, let me just grab there now I can break a block there and now I can fill that and yeah continue from there as you can see, we have already finished our keel. I didn't do a good job on the tutorial, so now I'm making a better tutorial for you guys. Because you are valued subscribers slash viewers slash whatever the heck you are. I don't know what you are. You could just be watching put dislikes on me. I don't know. <laughs> Well, you're not, but, uh, yeah. There's, al there's always, um, there's always that possibility, you know? It looks a thick to me. Ah, oh, well, she'll be right. Now, 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 time to armor the outside of this. The fun part. Uh, we're just gonna use, uh, wedges for the moment, just to, uh, yeah. Yes. Moving on. Uh, yeah, this is the second time of me trying to record this, because OBS decided to be OB shit again. So now I'm going to, uh, make a... A potato is what I'm making at the moment. Although it's going to be a good potato. I did actually try recording this, if I didn't already say. So... What we do here is we can add a 4 meter beam and a 4 meter slope just to make a decent looking bow, unlike last time. There, that was hideous. Um, and a 3 meter uh, thingy. There you go, that's a bow, isn't it? Am I right? Or am I right? And I can get, uh, yeah, that. I will see you guys when I finish putting the, uh, hull plating thing in. Yeah, that. And welcome back, guys and gals. So, I've just finished putting the hull edgy things on. Now it's time to put the deck on. You can use wood and then put a layer of metal under it leave it as wood, but I'm going to use this lovely invention, the reinforced deck. So you could do what I'm doing right now to make a deck, only have it straight and not... What the hell is going on with my keyboard? Yeah, just make it like straight like that down there and then build it off to the sides, so that way you can get more control on how it looks. Or you can just fill it and make it look absolutely hideous like this. 
which I'm doing for this video just because I'm lazy. And yeah, and then uh, I can just float over here. Uh, this thing right here was the old tutorials abomination. Absolutely hideous. With a cram cannon that I don't even know if it works or not. Because crams have had an update. And uh, yeah, I don't know if that, this works or not. That is why I'm building a new... So, you got your hull, you got your deck. And uh, now it is time to make the superstructure. If you don't know what superstructure is, it is the uh, structure you bit thing. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna make um basic superstructure a bit thinner here. I'm gonna put a main gun there. Thinking of putting uh something like no, like yeah. Something like this on there. And then the gun in the front of that, about here, right on the bow. And then probably put a couple of uh, secondary auto cannons on the side, and maybe one on the back as well. And then probably have missiles or something there. So now you've got the basic outline of your superstructure, now we're going to build it up. I can just get rid of that and uh, stick that there. I will be back when I've finished uh, putting the superstructure together. Hey guys, I'm back again. So, yeah, this, this is the bridge so far. Yeah, looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. Now, I need to, uh, yeah, make a little, uh, place for where I'm going to stick the ladder. And the internal, not internals, but like, yeah, control things. Ship wheel can go there. Oh, facing the right way. And I can put a chair there. Then I can disable the mirror temporarily. Grab a fire control computer and stick it there. Now I will turn the mirror back on and get some glass. We all love glass, I'm sure. Especially when it goes through your hand. <laughs> well, not that I've really had that happen, but I will. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I tend to paint me glass a dark colour, not completely black though, just so you can see out. It's my way of tinting glass as such. Yeah. So, there you go, now you've got your um, boat superstructure and OBS being laggy, as it always is, because my processor cannot handle it. Oh, it's a horrible processor, okay. I'm trying to get a new one, let me alone. <laughs> so how are we going to get in here? Like so, is how we are. And there. Uh, how are we going to get below deck? Like so, actually. I'll worry about that later. Just for now, I'm going to put a thing there. Just so I can put a ladder there, and then just so you can get up to the bridge. And I need to turn my paint off, or otherwise everything is going to look wacky. Um, I'm just going to do... Yeah, um, you can have standard doors, and you can have, like, bulkhead doors. I'm going to do the bulkhead door thing. Stick it there. There you go, looking good. Looking good. Now, I'm going to make a out of um, the advanced projectile system APS cannon which is a good thing to be using very very good thing to be using for this I'm just going to be using um, where is it sub objects there it is and uh, that's, that's very loud a small one axis turret and I'm going to make this a twin, twin gun. Yeah, let's do a twin gun. 
for the APS, because I've actually forgotten how to do crams. And since crams have had an update since last time we played this, yeah, they've changed it quite a lot. As you can see, that used to be really tiny, now it's absolutely huge. And will probably break the whole tip apart if I shoot it. Which I will do at the end of this video. So what I usually do when building APS is just build little um, pillars up here. Get a gauge increase, so I'm just going to do a 120mm times 2 gun. Put a couple of uh, cooking... Yeah, a couple of cap cooling vents in here. And some uh, recoil absorbers. Seeing as there's no uh, 3 meter one, I'm just going to use two, well, a 2 meter one and a 1 meter one. And you've got the mantlets that I accidentally called manlets. Because I didn't see the T, because I'm small brain. <laughs> uh, yeah, which uh, maneuvers the barrel around, which I'm putting on right now. Uh, yeah, that'll do. And I'll have a bore evacuator on there, just a little cooling thing. Now we go below deck and get uh, the auto loaders. Automatic loaders. You can really like stick these wherever, just make sure not to do something too bad because, like, very vague, I know. But yeah, don't do anything bad <laughs> in uh, the world of APS. It's a lot more simpler than crams now, I think, because I don't even wrap, around my, wrap, wrap me head around how crams work anymore, so yeah. Where's me ammo input feeders? There we go. These things are uh, your attach a, or connect a, um, shell load thing onto, I'll show you right now. If I just, yeah, here you go. For video purposes, I'm just going to stick, um, the thing there. Put a couple of them down. See, you've got gunpowder casings. You want a few of these, so your shell's not tight, like, super slow. But, yeah. I'm just going to make a basic um, shell with an AP head, just so it doesn't ricochet as much. And then there you go. And then you can press Q on these, select that, and then select one of these two, to uh, make them all like that. And, uh, yeah. Now it's time to armour this with, uh, metal. Metal. I'm sure you'll all like metal. Especially on boats. Unlike that little tub that has no metal at all. I regret even making that thing. It's so disgustingly horrible. So... Now we can armor around this a little bit. Oh, please stop lagging me. OB shit. <laughs> now we want slopes here, because who doesn't want slopes on their gun? Am I right? Or am I right? So what you do is you do that. I missed that part, lol. Yeah, just put uh, some slopes to uh, ricochet shells, you know? Oops, there. Yeah. Here you go. Very blocky, boxy, and hard edged thing. Housing two small um, guns. Also, the reason why there's no shell loaded is because I've got no ammo on the ship. So that's fine, we'll just make a little magazine. Um, and, uh, ammo box, I guess. Uh, which one's... It's that one. There we go. Uh, so, we're just going to, um... Where is it? Where is it? Is it, is it 
some resources. There we go. It's under resources. So we will just spawn a couple of these in. Get some metal. Put it between. Just so if one side blows up, then uh, one side's still okay. Very anyway. Sometimes they both go up. So now they're pretty armoured. I usually use heavy armor, but like, yeah, I'm lazy, so I'm using metal. Also, metal, metal isn't that, that bad for armor. Not as good as heavy armor, but yeah. Decent. Better than no armor. So, your shells should start loading now. There you go. And as you can see, if you scroll over the barrel, it has a rate of fire of 17.1 RPM or a 3.5 second uh, reload or shot thingy, yeah but yeah, that's a good firing, quick firing gun thing, yeah that it's a bit sl the shell's a bit slow though, so let me tweak that uh, by going into a casing there you go, 5, five 8 but since there's already shells in there, I'd need to clean all the shells out by either just firing or attaching some uh, shell clearing thing, I forget. I don't know how to do that. I just shoot it until it says a uh, new shell or something. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Another good thing to have on a ship is resource. Um... Something even better material um, than um, everything is if you go into miscellaneous repair bolts. I'm sure you already know them from me the, um, the old one. I've got two right there on this tub. Yeah, that's horrible. So yeah, time to build a basic engine and propulsion. Um, where is it? Fuel engines, there it is. Just gonna make a basic, uh, engine right here. One, two, three cylinders. With a carburetor. This thing is for making efficient engines, so if you want efficient engines, then use these. If you want super powerful engines, use injectors. For this video, I'm going to use um, both actually, just because if you do that, then they're both connected. So now you can just stick a supercharger on the carbies and get a one of these things, place it down, so then you can just break a hole through the bottom of the boat and kill all the fish in the process by releasing toxic gases into the water. And, uh, yeah. That's how you call your engines. <laughs> like so, and then you get your one hull pipe and stick it there. And there you have it, a powerful engine. Now you just need to add fuel. Which can just be in like anything. But just for this, I'm going to be using some of these. I'm going to need them. As good as it is. So now, propulsion. Propellers. Lovely screw technology. Um, where is it? I need a water tab. I need a rudder to steer the ship. And a uh, couple of large things. I think, I think these are going to like launch the ship because they're so powerful. So what we can do is just lower them down to, uh, oh, whoops, three uh, power output. So that you won't launch your sh ship into the air, excuse me. <coughs> so, 
So, my dude's not up there. So, let me just go up to uh, here. Press Q to teleport him into the thing. Oh no, it's sinking. Joys of using metal. Not to worry. You can just get an air pump and stick it in there. And it should, uh, yeah, put it above the water. But that's a bit much air, so I'm going to put it down to uh, 0. Point, uh, let's do 0.7. Yeah, 0. 0.7. That'll be. No, it won't do. I need down a point. Uh, let's do, do point 0.5. I oh, will. Now, let's see how fast this thing goes. Nam. Yeah, that's that's what I was trying to avoid. Whoopsie daisy. Come on down. Maybe I should just use small propellers. There's a big ship. Like a Corvette sized ship. Let me just try putting that down to two. Let me out. Two. There we go. Let's try that. Is that better? That's much better. There we go. How does it turn? Turns and tilts quite a bit. I can fix that once I put the AI in. And with this turret, I'm actually going to have to build it onto the turret. Because I've got these things hanging out. So, I can just do that. Get a fail safe so I don't blow a hole in the ship. And get a wireless receiver for when I make the AI. <coughs> so, now... I need to do that with the rest, actually. One moment, please. I will be back. And I am back. After finishing off the, um... Yeah. Uh, weapon controllers. All of its guns are now operational. So, now... We can focus on building the AI. How fun. You get the mainframe. And, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I don't know where I'm gonna stick it, actually, I'm gonna stick it above the ammo. That's totally a good spot for an AI, isn't it? The brains of the computer, oh, not the computer, the ship. So, what you want is, um, target priority. Let me just disable mirror mode. Right there, in a card slot. You can also get an aim point selection. I'm just going to chuck that in as an example. You can have a look here. Yeah. That's not needed. It's just optional. It can help performance. But now I'm just going to stick a bunch of uh, general processing cards all over the AI. So, yeah, when I put detection on, I won't do what I did last time and not have enough. Excuse me. So, looking pretty unarmoured, isn't it? Looking pretty dull as well. Let's configure it. Um, so what you do is you add a behaviour. Let's just do, um, broadside. It's going to do a uh, 90 degree angle to the right. Let's change that to 75 so then the back gun can join in as well. And now we can go to maneuver. This is very important. It'll actually move your ship. You can click add ship or tank. Who would have knew? And now it just tells itself. But I'm going to turn it off so it doesn't capsize like it is now. And then I'm going to get uh, some small propellers and stick under the ship just so it doesn't roll over. You want these rolling propellers about here and here on the ship. So, yeah, um, they actually start off with a picture preset, so you want to change them all to roller. Yeah, change them all to the roller preset. 
as you can see, if I turn the AI back on, it shouldn't roll over when it turns. Perfect. So I can just leave that running. Yeah. So who doesn't like missiles, you know? Let's add some. I'm sure you all like missiles. I sure as hell do. Give me that. Um, uh, four missiles. Just a cheap little missile barrage. Medium missiles. Can mean the difference between life and death in some situations. <laughs> and you stick the gantries on. Doesn't really matter where. Do it with me. I stick them like this because I'm OCD almost. And then you can put the hatches on top. And then you can do the one thing that I forgot to do and put the actual controller on so we can do stuff. With missiles. Get rid of the mirror mate real quick. I need to do something. Put connectors or the side there. So then all your missiles can be launched. And then another thing you can do is add um one of these ejector add-ons, which make the uh, missile launch faster and have a greater speed um, just after launch. Before they were only launched at uh, 20 meters a second, now they launch at 70 meters a second. So yeah, that's pretty useful. But another useful thing is the friend of oh, identify thing that and staggered fire too. I'll just move that closer to the, um, thing. <laughs> just in case something over here blows up and that thing goes off. And the mis missiles won't, um, come back at you and kill you. <laughs> yeah. You also need a, uh, a, um, thingy thing. Yeah, you, don't, you don't need to worry about a uh, fail-safe when doing missiles. You just need that. And... That should be good. So now you've got... A main armament of, um... This thing. Yeah, that. A secondary armament of, uh... 60mm autocannons. These are just pure kinetic shells, by the way. You can't edit these sh uh, things shells. The, the APS cannon... As a explosive shell, basically, and then you got uh, missiles. Oh, I actually forgot to tweak these. You want active radar missiles? It's, yeah, they're they're more reliable than um some other missiles. So now then, you got everything you need, basically. Now, it's time to test it on an enemy. Hey guys, I'm back. So it's all armoured now, and uh, I added some little protection-y thingies. Surge protectors. Which, um, yeah, in case you didn't know, AI equipment takes EMP damage, which basically fries all electronics, more or less, and kills the AI, which is not what we want. So, now that we've armoured the AI, it's time to test this thing on another ship. Not a plane, not a ship. I was testing on a plane before because, yeah, it didn't turn out too well. So, we will uh, face off against the Vanguard. The Vanguard is a scout ship of the Deepwater Guard, designed f to travel over long distances while whilst offering a cannon capable of long-range harassment. There you go. Oop. Turn that, that thing on, please. Why are you shooting over there? Hang on. Oh! Hold on. I didn't add any detection equipment. I am so dumb. 
Well, uh, the, mi the missiles have their own detection of front, but like, the guns can't see. So, uh, yeah, time to, uh, time to fix that. <laughs> Silly me. Uh, move barrels, I need to get in here. Um, AI. Connector. I'm gonna put a radar on the front. Where's the radar? There. 360 radar. I need to connect to that though. With, uh, this handy little tool, wireless connector, receiver. And now I can go back to the stern. And smack a hole in there. Put that there and put a camera in the back. 360 camera. Just because good idea to have a hybrid of detection equipment. You can even put a star on the bottom, but I'm not going to do that. But what I will do is put a, um, where is it, sub-objects, a small one axis turret, and go into AI, coincidence range finder, just a five metre one will do. Stick it on top, and then I need to uh, power it with a receiver. Now, this turret won't move. What you need to do is stick a weapon controller under it. Yes, that's funny. Weapon controller for a rangefinder. And that's just to control the turret. So the turret can actually move and do its thing. You don't need a fail safe on uh, the something like this. This thing is just to find range, more or less. So, uh, with your detection equipment set up, you are clear to engage. Uh, that one. And let's watch the fight. Although, if that thing took the heat instead of that metal thing, that thing would be blown in half. Look at that. We've absolutely thrashed this deep water guard ship. This little wood with a little bit of metal on it. new APS gun is doing perfectly. Oh look! Easily done. So, that thing easily destroyed the vanguard. Now, will it easily destroy this thing? I actually need to uh, move this thing over there. Hang on, let me just, uh, let me do some fancy trickery really quickly. Yeah. I'm going to spawn a thing right there, where is it, where is it? Test vehicle, there it is. Stop it from moving. And I need to board it. How, how long is that? That's 43. That's 53. This is only 10 meters longer. And it's a lot better, because it's made of metal. And APS. Whereas this is a cram. I've got no idea what any of this is anymore. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to, uh, teleport onto this ship really quickly. With a chair. Let me on. There we go. Now I'm going to shoot the ship we just made with the crown. I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, I'm going to shoot this with the cram cannon. And this is probably going to ricochet. 
which it did. So, um, yeah. This thing is not up to the standards. This thing is at. Allow me to introduce a new and improved advanced projectile system. Stop rocking the boat. Stop rocking! Ah! <laughs> See that? We just blew it in half. Easily done. Now this thing is the second attempt at making a uh, new and improved uh, yeah, vessel. This thing was uh, the, the previous recording. So I'm going to save this as the uh, SS YouTube boat, not boy, boat 2. Similar armament, similar superstructure, only this one is superior. Similar layout. Like this is slightly more curvy. Although this one has a 45 degree turret face, so shells are more likely to ricochet off it. Whereas this one is a something else degree. Yeah. Although this one does have more detection. But. This thing is no more. This thing is just... I'm glad it's gone. That thing can just rot in a shipyard. And I won't care about it. But yeah, these, sh these two ships are pretty um, cheap. This one here is um, more or less the same as this. Just slightly big. And yeah, slightly more expensive. So this is about 30,000 materials. Good for a campaign, starter ship, so is this, this is 28, they're both good uh, campaign starter ships. So if you liked this video, please leave a like, comment if you want to see, um, uh, I don't know, maybe a battleship or a cruiser uh, build. <laughs> and, uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching my laggy tutorial recorded with a bit. Thank you for watching and goodbye.